said I'm a crush. Uh, when I first came on, I came on um, as new managing director uh, last September, uh, and was finding that there wasn't a lot of history about the theater um, actually written down. Uh, on our website, it actually said 1933 was the year that we opened. I just did a little bit of research and quickly found some advertisements from the 1920s, um, 1927, uh, which the theater was was operating. So uh, a little more digging. We think that it was opened in 1922. Um, that means that it was a fully uh, silent movie theater at that point. Would have had a probably a piano player or a very small orchestra up at the front of the theater. Um, playing along with films. We think that the uh, it was right around the same time that the church actually opened across the street here, the Dormont uh, Presbyterian Church. Unfortunately, they are, they're closing. <laughs> um, uh, and it's kind of sad, but uh, we're, we're hopeful. It's, you know, um, it's an important um, establishment in, in Dormont. Uh, and we hope that somebody else uh, moves in there and takes care of that building. Uh, but the church and the Hollywood Theater would have been sort of uh, you know, big cornerstones of, of the neighborhood, Potomac Avenue and Dormont. Uh, so we're glad to still be here. You know, we're one of, I think, five neighborhood cinemas on the south side that's, uh, uh, that's open. Um, there were uh, several others, um, including the South Hills around the corner, which is now a CVS. Uh, it was torn down and is now a CVS. Uh, there's the Dennis Theater, uh, Mount Lebanon. Uh, currently undergoing renovation, and we're we're supportive of their um, efforts to to reopen that. Um, and uh, there were a couple other theaters that I, th that I think are I don't know if they've been demolished, but those are uh, gone, long gone too. So somehow the Hollywood Theater has survived. We're not we're not quite sure how, but we're we're glad it did. Um, unlike the South Hills Theater, which was had a stage and and also did a lot of live music and other types of events. We think that Hollywood is primarily a cinema. Um, and as you'll see, uh, there's just a small stage. Um, so we don't think there was a lot of performance going on here. We are um, working with a couple of researchers to delve back into the early history of the Hollywood to see um, what we can find out. This used to be the old box office. Um, would jut out, you know, a traditional old cinemas would jut out onto the actual sidewalk. There was a window and you can tell um, the first clue was that this this was a peephole, uh, and so you know that they had money in there. Uh, it's just a broom closet now. Um, I kind of wish we had the old box office still, but uh, that's gone. Um, from what I understand, and of course I'm still piecing this together, I've been told that the old concession stand used to come out to right here. Uh, it was a prefab concession stand that sat right in here, and then the back of the theater actually jutted up to here. Uh, and there were old, there were windows and with um, curtains across it, so that the actual theater was bigger. Um, in a very early photo, I think from 1927, and we found very few. Uh, we found um, the facade of the theater, a picture of the facade of the theater. It looks remarkably similar to what it looks like now. We always thought that there would have been, you know, some massive changes over the years, but it really hasn't changed that much. Um, but we could zoom in on this particular part of the theater and saw a sign that said the Hollywood Floral Shop. So it was a movie theater and flower shop. Um, uh, if, you happen, if, if people happen to be on our Facebook page, they might have been following this, this, uh, this story recently. Um, when the theater was renovated in 2006, uh, the Bradley Center um, got together with the building owners. They got a grant through, I think it was C.K. Mellon, and uh, were able to renovate the theater. It had been sitting dormant for several years at that point um, and was languishing. They approached the building owners with the idea of uh, renovating the theater and having, and they work with at-risk youth um, and having their, um, their kids work at the theater. Great idea. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I think within a year, year and a half, it had closed. Uh, you know, the result is we have a renovated theater, so that's, um, that's very nice. I think that the, the actual renovation itself maybe was a little bit heavy-handed. Um, it certainly was not a restoration. Um, the, uh, the, the theater originally held a little over 700 seats. Um, and uh, of course, people were smaller at that point, um, and the seats were very small, wooden seats, um, uncomfortable by our standards today, definitely. Uh, we're now down to 
just 280 seats um, after that renovation. Uh, we found out that there was a problem with uh, once those original uh, seats, which apparently were in poor condition, once those were removed, the grandfather clause for sprinkling the theater uh, was no longer in place. So um, if we went over 300 seats, we would have to resprinkle the entire building, um, which probably was not possible uh, cost-wise. So that's why the Hollywood went from 700 plus to about 280 seats, which is what we have now. A lot of the, uh, well, I had mentioned that the um, concession was expanded into the lobby and uh, the back wall had, had come into the theater. Apparently there used to be additional lighting that was at the back of the theater uh, and those were torn out in the renovation as well. So this is actually full house lighting. It's very dark in here. That's one of our challenges with, um, with doing live events is sometimes it requires people bringing in additional lighting. However, we had, um, uh, uh, a, a local person who works with uh, uh, a company that services our projectors. He was around in 2006 when the theater had been renovated and uh, we had some, um, there were some footlights on the stage and they were being junked, uh, thrown out and he rescued those from the dumpster, put them in a warehouse and then a month ago brought them back to us and said, um, you should have these. Uh, I then put a quick message on our Facebook page. We have like 5,500 um, people on our Facebook page and um, a lot of them are big fans of the theater. So I just tried it. Any, any electricians out there want to volunteer to help us? And uh, I got a few responses and one person came out within a couple of days and I can actually turn them on for you, you can see. But so we think these footlights are from the 1940s. Possibly they could go back to the to the opening of the theater, but you, you'll be able to see that it makes a difference for us. Um, <clears throat> and so this will be um, great for having events in here uh, and speakers can go up on stage and they can be seen that way. So it was a nice, a nice little su surprise uh, this past month. And uh, two volunteers, uh, one you know, brought the lights back and the other one um, did all the electrical work and and reinstalled them, so we're pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, you can see the original um, contours of the, of the theater, um, of the ceiling. Uh, we think those are, that's original from the 1920s. Um, in some photos that I've seen, the, scott, the light sconces are not original on the sides, but I, actually they, I think they approximate what the original ones look like. They're not very ornate, but um, just simple which is kind of what this, you know, this theater is kind of a, has a simpler look to it. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I think there, there are two lights in the very back, and we'll go up to the balcony at some point, but two lights in the very back corners, which you can see, those look kind of Art Deco to me. I think those are original to the theater. Um, and yeah, actually, when we were installing the lights recently, we were able to pull up the stage. I was actually hoping, um, and uh, it's in some cases in old theaters, sometimes you will find um, old poster, movie posters and that kind of thing stuck in corners of the theater. I was kind of hoping we'd find something under the, uh, under the stage, but it turns out it's poured concrete. <laughs> so uh, there's nothing under the stage. A, a number of old cinemas would have started off as vaudeville houses. Um, in the, especially in the early days of cinema. Um, so they might occasionally have someone come in who would do um, some cinema, but otherwise it would be live acts, um, music and that sort of thing. So stages probably would generally be a little bit larger than what you see here in most places. And that's why we think um, uh, you know, that this was primarily a cinema. Also with, you know, uh, unless, unless that change happened in the 40s, it's possible. So like I say, we have, to, we have a lot more research to do. Um, but you know, a traditional stage would be, uh, you know, made out of wood and have a nice wood floor, um, uh, you know, for dancing purposes or, or that sort of thing. So.